Hi, this is David Holt, IV Consultant. Today I'm going to discuss the Leviquin Cipro family, better known in pharmaceutical circles as fluoroquinolones. And before I get to how to give an IV dose of Leviquin and its family, be aware that it is it does interact with warfarin or coumadin quite severely and your patient is likely to only need half as much warfarin when on IV Leviquin. Back to how to give a full dose of IV Leviquin. Leviquin usually comes in about a 100 cc bag so you will need to program the volume to be infused for about 140 cc's. If you only program your IV pump for 100 cc's you're going to leave the overfill in the bag, which will be about 10 cc's, 10% 10 of the volume. And you will also leave the entire IV tubing full of antibiotic. So your patient, poor fellow or fellow S, it will only get about 70% of their antibiotic. If you're giving Cipro, it's probably going to come in a 200 to 250 cc bag and you will need to program your IV pump using Holtz IV rule number two. You'll program it for the bag value, the volume 200 plus 10 percent which is 20 cc's plus the volume of both IV tubing sets which is likely to be 22 plus 8. That's an additional 30 cc's so you've already got 250 cc's plus any extension tubing or dead space of a pick or other version of a central line. So use the Holt IV rule number two and calculate the exact number that you need to program into your IV pump. If you don't, that last 50 cc's of antibiotic will either linger in the bag and IV tubing because you've switched off the pump and flushed your patient, or if the person is on continuous IV fluids, they're going to get the last 20 to 25 percent of the drug at a different rate to which the pharmacy would like it to have been given. If the patient is at TKO of 3 or 10 cc's, that rate will be 1 20th perhaps of the ideal rate. I'm not going to get into discussing IV rates to be programmed into your IV pump because those numbers are too simple. Oh, but when people do surveys, that is one of the main mistakes that they find when looking at nurses' skills at using an IV pump. One of the reasons they find the IV rate is incorrect, of course, is because those surveyors don't know how to look for the correct volume to be infused, and none of them are actually looking for it. But you can and should look for the volume to be infused of your colleagues and friends and your IV policies and encourage your hospital to write meaningful IV policies and get everybody onto the same page of life that you are now on after watching this video and get everybody, every patient, their full dose of antibiotics in a timely manner without leaving anything in the IV tubing. Remember, warfarin interreacts 